Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Walker Rumble dungeon guide, I'm going to take a look at No Morgan on an Undead Week, and especially this Sylvanas army that I used to clear a level 24 dungeon. First, let's take a quick look at the No Morgan dungeon mechanics. The first boss, Crowd Pummeler, melee cannon attacks and knock player minis off the platform, and yeah, they do. However, flying minis, when they get knocked off the platform, they can just fly back. When ground minis get knocked off the platform, even in some of these gaps, they're just gone. So the main plan for this one is to take this meeting stone and then start attacking it from both sides. With ranged units, Chimera I suppose is the best one. Chimera can just do so many things and it can also recover from being knocked back, but any ranged units really can handle it if you send them from both sides so that the boss can't knock them all down quickly enough. Then there's also these protective devices, Gnomish Harm Prevention Belt, Limited Time Protection, known to attract gnomes if left sitting too long. So these give the minis temporary shield, but also if they're here for a while, then a safe pilot will spawn and from the boss's side and grab them and then start attacking you. So you want to pick these up when you have time to do that, but the main thing is to get this stone and get these attacks from two sides going. The second boss, Electrocution 6000, is the most annoying and most difficult boss in all of the dungeons in this game. Because you're just going to be swarmed by so many minis. It has rocket towers, so you can't outrange rocket towers. And these rocket towers also have this kind of mist around them that deals elemental damage to your minis. And nowadays rocket towers are siege damage, which is physical damage. So there's both elemental damage and physical damage coming in, so it's even more difficult to do this. The boss itself deals a whole bunch of elemental damage, so you would kind of want to tank it with something resistant. Even a quill bore will do, but also fire elemental used to be pretty sweet when it could also tank the rocket towers, but nowadays it doesn't do that nearly as effectively. So you need something to take the rocket towers. Sappers with rocket boots is the best option. If they don't have rocket boots, then at least one of the sappers is going to die, because slow sappers just are not fast enough to get underneath of the rocket. But rocket boot sappers, even if they're one-on-one -on -one against the tower, they will be able to hit the tower. Gargoyle is another fine one. It's also armored, so it does a pretty good job here. If you don't have rocket boots on your sappers, you probably want to use a gargoyle. Then some kind of resistant armored something tank could also also potentially handle them, but that's more difficult now that there's both damage types in. And once you get both towers, you really have to get some towers here, then you want to attack the boss and use a resistant tank to turn the boss around and then get some then get some damage on it from behind. For example, Chimera can be very strong, but resistant tanks are the key to getting to the boss. And if you win the second map, you have basically won the dungeon, because making a thermal block is not much of a boss. Control switches summon walking bones for big damage. Thermal block has this shield here, so thermal block takes very little damage otherwise, but there will be walking bombs coming over here, or coming over here, depending on who is going to break through these switches. Switches cannot be claimed by flying, so you can claim them with ground troops, and you can claim them with spells. You're just trying to keep minis on both sides of the map at all times, so that whenever these spawn, they, you get to destroy them immediately. So just go back and forth and back and forth, and always send miners whenever possible, because there's plenty of gold here to mine, and it's all very close to your base, and yeah, Thermoblock is just a game of whack-a-mole, basically, and then that's no more gone. And this is the arm that I used for Sylvanas. I noticed on the community discord that some people had been using Welpex in the slot where I originally used Chimera, so I gave that a try and it's actually working really well. So you could also use this for Baron Rivendare, because Baron Rivendare and Sylvanas share basically the same slot, so you can use the armies, any armies with them as you like. So I'm using Ghoul, Plague Farmer, Sappers, Safe Pilot, Witch Doctor, and Whelp Eggs. The plan resembles the one that I had originally, so I have Plague Farmer that can shoot at the first boss. This time I don't have Chimera at the first boss, instead I can just drop Whelp Eggs on it like a bomb. So first boss similar than the other one, but Whelp Eggs replacing the functionality that Chimera used to do. On the second boss, same Sapper strategy again, we're using Sappers, taking the towers, then we have Plague Farmers dealing some damage, but we can also just drop Whelp X and Safe Pilots on top of the boss. Instead of trying to do Chimera and a Quill Bore, turn the boss around, get Chimera to shoot at it, we're just dropping Unbounce on it, and it's fairly effective. And the third boss, well, it's a game of whack-a-mole, you just play stuff on both sides anyway, so nothing has changed for that one. And this is what the Sylvanas army looks like in action. Then that 
just that pure difference in DPS might be too much. We'll see. No, too late. Too slow. Things not going according to the plans. Ah, oh, this is a disaster. Kill it, kill it. Oh, witch doctor. Witch doctor doing some good witch doctoring there. That's sort of witch doctoring I like to see. Theoretically, of course, plague farmer is enough. You don't have to have a chimera. You can do stuff with the plague farmer too. Witch doctor can't kill the bear. Ooh, now it was able to kill. Ooh, the shields. Ooh, more shields. More shields. Well, those were nice shields and everything, but we'd also need to kill that boss, you know. <laughs> but that witch doctoring is definitely, definitely pretty awesome. Oh, I was trying to get those two. Pick up that shield before anyone else picks it up. All right, we get <laughs> witch doctors. Doctor, 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 doctor. Doctor, Doctor. I can imagine them presenting each other. Hmm. There is absolutely some witch doctoring power. Can't complain. All right, go grab the tower. All right, tower grab happened. Which doctor? 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 That, that doctor is awesome. I need to attack that tower. Go! Attack the tower now! Thank you. Send out other troops. Good. Wellbex are definitely an asset, I have to say. They do nice things. That one can be killed easily. some progress, please. Some progress would be tremendously useful here. Can we just start dropping these eggs there? I needed to handle the bear. I needed to handle the bear. Just in time. Barely in time. Not actually quite good. Quite in time. Yikes, yikes, yikes.
Doctor, your contribution is crucially needed. Oh dear. I somehow managed to lose both towers. We're recovering a tower. Maybe. We are recovering towers. Yes. Good. Towers are back. Alright, we can actually do this right. I just need to... I just need to push... I need to get more eggs out there. More eggs. Just cycle with the eggs now. Just gonna cycle with the eggs from here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Eggs. Just cycle eggs and safe pilot. Oh my goodness, it worked. Oh, flame, flame burst whalebacks are still incredibly powerful. What can I say? What can I really say? Still an absolute top tier unit. Okay, we send stuff out there and out here and... Some wellbacks out there, there's a bit of a trap, and this goes here, and that goes there, and well, this is, this is of course nothing, this is... And it's just always going to be one. Here the summons. Hearing more summons. It's good. We and that one over there. Oh, full of bombs coming my way. But it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's going to hear some summons and we'll all be good. Over there, this one over here, that one over there, this one over here. Just a game of whack a mole. Which doctor was incredibly useful, I think. Which doctor is a pretty strong mini overall? Oh. And boom. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.